Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's, what day is it? I have no idea. Saturday. Uh, and still isn't back, but I should be picking up today. Um, hope you enjoyed Friday's video. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, uh, obviously, B stuff. So I've got to take these two supers, um, basically brew box supers, uh, I think that's what they're called. Basically, I've got to take these two down and add to what we've got down there because the bees are going crazy, and um, which is really good. So I'm going to suit up and uh, boot up and get going. So, as you can see, here we are. It's not fancy dress. Um, a quick look at the bees from the front before we do anything. Okay, here we go. So we have a uh, busy hive here. This is a candidate for possibly I'm going to put another box on the top of that one. This is pretty quiet. Yesterday they were quite busy here. Uh, this is one of the split ones, so that's the quieter one of the two. <coughs> the other one here does seem a bit busier. It's a yeah. Yesterday afternoon it was crazy busy, but um, these guys, yeah, I need to make the entrance. I'll show you that in a minute. So at the moment they have their winter entrances on, yeah? So they've only got like five little holes. So what we do is we'll take the landing platform off a bit. We'll take this off, if we can. No, they're stuck in there, here we go. Okay, like so. And then we'll turn it around. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, and that then gives them more room to be in and out. Sorry about the filming, but it's a bit tricky. Come on. Come on, move your bum. So there we go. Get some more room, you see. So, uh, these two guys over here, what are we doing? Yeah, this one's busy. Very busy hive. And these guys are just bumbling along. So what I might do is take a frame out of one of these that's really busy. Probably this one. I'll take a frame, shake the bees off, take a frame of brood, and put it in with that one. Just to give them a bit of a boost. You know what I mean? So I'll set the camera up somewhere and we'll, we'll get going. I don't know if you can hear me, those bees, oh, <laughs> bees are giving the microphone a load of grief. Uh, right. So, here goes. Big fluffy things they don't like, obviously. This may be complete wasted footage. 
this one uh, there's no brood in there anymore but there is a queen cup so it's looking promising this one I put a new brood box on top because there's eight frames of brood inside already uh, so they're like jam-packed full so give them a bit more room this one there's lots of broken down queen cups in here and there is a small patch of new brood so it looks like we've got a queen in here in Brenda so yeah that's really good that's uh, just under three weeks so that's good uh, this box yeah I'm a bit worried about four frames of brood in there maybe five but it's really dirty in the bottom so I'll probably have a new uh, get a new box done for here this one again uh, jam-packed full eight frames of brood so I put one I took a brood out of here uh, and put in where did I put it anyway yeah I took a, whatever I took one out of here and put I can't remember where I put it there uh, so I don't think there's a queen there's no new brood uh, and there are um, two or three queen cups so I put a front this is the one I put the frame of brood in just to sort of keep them going I, I think we might lose this hive I, yeah, I don't know what really you know the best way of dealing with it but there we go so I'd just like to look at the mess you've made there really so uh, Gilly's got a bad eye because he ran into something and this is all the dogs do when Ange isn't here yeah just sulk because she's not here I've just been down to do the bees and Gilly Gilly you sulking yeah yeah there you go mummy's not here one of the reasons I've dug a pond near the bees I put the bees near a pond and also dug this one. And they're everywhere. Drinking. Hello everyone, um, I just want to show you the advantages of having <laughs> really well trained dogs. I just let these two guys out for a wee and when they went out, it's raining now, yeah, rain's always a good thing to bring out the fire salamanders here in Portugal. And here's a little baby one, yeah, little dinky dinky thing. Hello matey. So all the yellow bits on it are highly poisonous and uh, the dogs just, you basically come out and sniffed it. And, uh, well, didn't sniff it, went to sniff it, you know what I mean? I don't think they have a scent. Um, yeah, cool. And just, you know, didn't pick it up or anything because uh, it would have resulted in, yeah, not uh, not a good... Not a good thing for them, but it's tiny. Look, I'll show you. Hang on. The light's gone. This is how big it is. Look, I don't particularly want to touch it because um, all the yellow bits are poisonous. But yeah, because it's raining, they come out uh, yeah, in force when it rains. So this is a dinky little thing. It's literally, I don't know, uh, tip to tail, maybe four inches long. Now we've had them like eight, nine inches long. But uh, yeah, don't know where he's going, what he's doing, but you crack on. And yeah, not touched by the dogs, which is wonderful. Okay, everyone. Um, hey, everyone. 
A little bit of info just in case anyone wanted to know the difference between like granite and quartzite. So this is granite. Uh, if you get granite really, really hot, I mean this gets fairly hot as we know with the lime cement argument. Um, yeah, it's pretty hot here with the, the exhaust of the um, wood burner goes out through the wall. But granite and quartzite, which are quite similar, they're similar within the realms of uh, geology etc but I'll just show you the difference open this up so here's our fire just I'm just going to paint actually here's our fire okay and if I poke this around a bit so this uh, very crudely because the the metal uh, casing that we had in here to shield this bit uh, melted away basically or, or rotted away but as you can see, this is a bit of quartzite I shoved in the hole just to, um, as you can see it's glowing red, as is the rest of the fire. But this bit of quartzite that I shoved in the hole just to stop the vacuum working so much here. Yeah? It's glowing red and it's still perfectly whole, not split or burst or anything. So if you want to um, make a sauna or something and you want the rocks in your sauna, for, you know, for the water to go on, etc. This stuff is your kitty quartzite awesome stuff yeah don't put granite in there because it'll explode okay everyone so uh and still isn't home from hospital she's six days in there now i'm just it's nine o'clock in the morning um on the sixth day so it's uh was it now monday morning no monday morning yeah, sorry, it's Monday morning. Uh, yeah, just waiting for her to phone me and say, come and get me. Uh, basically, she had a pretty bad reaction to the anaesthetic. Her hip is fine. Um, no problems at all. She's moving it. And to, yesterday, she was actually up and walking. No pain at all. She's not on any painkillers. The problem is she's on a, a some form of drug for anti-sickness because every time she did stand up, she was being sick. So... Um, yeah, and they won't let her go home until that stops happening, obviously. But uh, yeah, hip's fine and I'm just waiting for her to come home. As promised, as I promised um, you guys, or I said I would do, uh, I'll show you. So I had to take the whole sink out. Um, uh, basically, this is two sinks made into one. Uh, yeah, that I, I cut them apart and made them into one anyway. Um, yeah, so this had a leak. Around here, this was leaking because it gets constantly wet. And stupidly, I use silicone instead of a uh, like a mastic sealer. So sink out, um, resealed, and uh, put back in. So that's one little job I, I've been needing to do. Much easier to do with just me here. And the other job, which nobody likes doing, I clean the oven. Way so uh, as best I could. Um, yeah, so she'll be pleased about that because everyone hates cleaning ovens and I've mopped the floor So there we go uh, Yeah, so I'm just like I say I'm here. I'll have more tea and um, I'm just waiting for her to phone me and uh, away I go Okay, everyone so look at this mess uh, it's, it's raining really hard today. So one of those rainy day jobs is um, Yeah clearing things up the reason it's a mess, you know I've recently bought a pool table, really cheap, I can believe it. And we've also, for in the future, well, with, for Angie's rehabilitation and for me to get a bit fitter, our friends uh, are moving, were moving house and they had this, this uh, home gym basically and a rowing machine for sale, really cheap. Uh, so thanks Andy and Mandy, it was awesome. So we got... We bought it um, for Angie's rehab, basically, and to get some exercise on her hip. Uh, you know, a weight resistance machine is probably the best way to do that. Huh. But we didn't realise um, <laughs> Angie being so quick, like six days from the cons consultation. So, yeah, I need to get rid of these chairs, uh, tidy everything up, and, um, yeah, set, set all this up, basically. And the pool table as well, why not? Let's have a go.
wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow And the old ways get washed out by the So there we go. I think that'll be the final place to set that up when uh, when I get round to it. I've obviously got to render the walls, uh, as you know, and this wall here and this wall here both have to be, well, all the walls have to be rendered, but these two have to be insulated as well. Um, and I've got to finish tiling the floor. But at the moment, yeah, because... Uh, so that's out the way. All the pool table stuff over here is sort of in the way now because uh, I can't render the wall there, etc. etc. Uh, I've got too much going on all at once, but there we go. So I'm going to take the legs, uh, set them up over here, put the feet on them, and uh, yeah, start setting the pool table up. I might need Ewan's help to lift the slates over. <laughs> So here we have the four feet, uh, which I've cleaned up the threads on, cleaned them up a bit. They just screw into the bottom of the legs basically. But what I've done is made four MDF pads <coughs> to sit on the bottom of the feet. So the feet look like this. Yeah, and that centre bit is supposed to turn. I can only get one of them to turn, it's all rusted and stuff. Clean them up the best I can. So I made these pads so that sits in the centre and then it can you know and it gives her a little bit more support on the tiles as well but um yeah so i'll screw them to the feet now and uh, to the legs sorry and uh, we'll see how it goes
so there we have it guys um hello kid. yeah assembled ish i need to get to see the bolts here they need to be 12 mil half inch um and obviously these need to be like three inches long or something like that uh 75 mil so what i might do is get some 12 millimeter half inch um threaded bar and the loading nuts and then these two center pieces go here yeah they'll take so there's two of them obviously Hang on. So there's there's two of them which take uh, which go on the joints of the slates in the middle of the table. So yeah, um, there we go. And then this is going to be a fairly long process because I put the, and I bolt all this together. I then realistically need to put this, the slate on. And what I've noticed with the slate is they have um, you can see see better like that they have holes hang on let's try and focus on that so they have there's holes actually in the slate yeah and they look like they're threaded so <laughs> that could be a bit tricky I might have to make something up to, to go in there because uh, I don't have any of the box at all um, but uh, we'll see also I don't know if you guys know the correct surface height yeah um, don't know if you guys know the correct surface playing height for a pool table whether it's different from a pool to snooker or whatever but uh, yeah if you could leave um, let me so give me some idea in the comments that would be great so that seems like it for this week guys um, still no Andrea she's uh, had blood tests uh, to find out what's making her sick basically and um, yeah hopefully I'll pick her up tomorrow how many times have I said that yeah, hopefully I'll pick her up tomorrow, so um, we should be good. Uh, yeah, short video this week, um, because I've been trying to do lots, lots of other stuff as well. So, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for your likes and, and everything else, and, and all your wonderful comments as well. And um, we'll see you on Friday. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm... Just a quick one, um, I'm recording this because it's hilarious. The best way I've found, and a lot of people say, to train a dog is make it fun. Make everything they do a game, yeah? And uh, so this is the game we play now, and it's feeding time with Max. So I've got Max's food here, which is uh, meat, and supplemented with uh, scrambled eggs, because we got lots, and it's a good protein source. Uh, so what's these idiots? Yeah, what well, said Max? Quinn doesn't join in because Quinn's like right at the bottom of the pecking order. But wait, go on in. Good boys, and again, go on, get on. Do not Sit. Your bowl's full of water. Hang on. So there's Max's dry little bed indoors. Good boy. Here you go. Here you go. Wait. Boy, do you want some? Yeah. Go on, eat. Come on, Gilly. Good boy. Come on. Push. See, Andrea usually does all the feeding of the animals, apart from Max. I always do Max. But um, now we've got Boris who's looking a proper mess. Yeah, moaning. 
but he wants his food. The turkeys. I fed them this morning, so they should be alright. I'll just check what... Nope, they have no, no food left, so I better refeed them as well. 